Hey guys, just popping on again to do another quick training short that is designed to help you, the children's ministry team, out. Okay, so what we're talking about today is our CCB notifications. Okay, so CCB, um, the default notification is email. Okay, it is highly beneficial to have a text notification set up as well. So we are going to take a look at how to set up your text notifications. And then when it does go to your email, we are going to go ahead and set those because um, they default to your junk mail a lot of times. So we're going to walk through how to set those so they go to your regular inbox and so you're not missing them in your junk mail. Email first. Okay, I have a ton of email. Some of these I actually don't know if they're safe or not, but this one right here, CM Worship. They are one of the vendors that I talked to at the D6 conference. And Charlie gave me her email, so I'm comparing that here. You never want to mark something safe unless you know that you know that it's safe, okay? So right up here, I see Charlie at cmworship.com. Always check those super carefully. Okay, so I'm going to come over to my main email line here. I'm going to right-click my mouse, drop down, and each... Um, Email box is going to look a little bit different, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the junk line and mark it as not junk. Now, depending on how this goes, this should do the trick, especially for D6. I've already done this um, on my D6, e or my, not D6, my CCB emails. Otherwise, I would show you on CCB, but mine already go to my inbox. But this should do the trick. Um, otherwise, you might have to play with some of these settings here, but I would just mark it as not junk. Okay, um, now it's asking me if I always want to trust email from charlie at cmworship.com. I want to keep that clicked, select, and that has now moved over to my inbox for me to view. I have a ton of junk mail, so I'll need to check those out later, but that is your email tutorial. Now, switching screens over to CCB. We're going to figure out how to set up our text notifications. Now, you can do this on your phone as well. I think it's a little bit easier to do on the computer side, or if you're doing it from your phone, you can always change that to the desktop view just to set this up and then turn that back. So once you're logged on to CCB, we're gonna play with this a little bit because I have forgotten since I did this last how to do it. Okay, so I believe you're gonna go to your personal profile. So in the top corner over here, you click on your picture or your initials. Um, like see right here, mine has um, initials here. So if you haven't put a picture in, there's that. Okay, so you're on your profile. You're going to go to actions. It's starting to come back to me. Okay, click on the actions button and then communication preferences. Okay, so once you're in here, it's going to open a whole new thing. It's going to show you all of the groups that you are in. Okay, so I'm in more than what you guys might be because um, I'm on the church staff group, the ministry directors group, things like that. So I have a lot more to look at. Um, there's a lot of recommended settings here. Okay. So at the top here, you'll see the different types of communications, emails, comments, different things like that. So send me text messages from group leaders. Okay. So you enter your, um, yeah, you enter your mobile carrier, your phone number, and then I always just select everything just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I'd rather get an extra notification about it than not give anything at all. So everything is recommended for the different groups that you're in. So if you're looking at Sozo Kids Volunteers, I would go ahead and just turn them all on. Totally up to you. But for sure that text notification, because then that's going to be sending you um, notifications when I send a new schedule out, reminders for when you are scheduled for that particular week and so that's super helpful and then and then this is for future groups you're added to you can change how you want your notifications to come through um, otherwise if you join a group in the future you might have to come back and change these as well but um, I think I would let you know if I was starting a different group for volunteers that's about it um, and then right down here under scheduling communication you can check I'd like to e receive email notifications for scheduling or I'd like to receive text notifications. I do both. Again, it's better to have multiple communications um, than if something should happen and one doesn't go through, the other should go through. Okay. Then you've got your email in there. 
save your settings on the bottom right here. That's very important. Save your settings and then you're good to go. And then you will receive your CCB notifications via text message. And I know for a lot of you, that is what works best. So I highly recommend you popping on doing this real quick. Then you never have to worry about it again. There you go. All right. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.